Hello! In this video, we will discuss the classification of porosity. Porosity has two types of classifications, geological and engineering. For a geological classification, porosity is classified into two subdivisions, primary and secondary. Primary porosity is the original porosity that develops during the deposition of the material. Primary porosity can be either intergranular or intragranular porosity. Intragranular porosity is the porosity between grains, while intragranular porosity is the porosity within grains itself. Secondary or induced porosity is developed after deposition by geological processes which result in bugs and fractures. In terms of engineering classification, porosity can be subdivided into two categories effective and total. Effective porosity is the interconnected pore volume divided by the bulk volume, while the total porosity is the total pore volume divided by the bulk volume. Usually in sandstones, total porosity equals effective porosity, as they are relatively homogeneous rocks. Carbonate rocks, on the other hand, usually have the total porosity to be greater than the effective porosity since the carbonates are typically heterogeneous. As petroleum engineers, we are mainly interested in the effective porosity since hydrocarbons can only flow through connected pores. For more information, check out my textbook and booklet on reservoir rock properties along with my lecture notes, all provided in the description box down below. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.